build yourselves upon your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Take hours praying in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Because he knows what is happening in your life and he understands what God has ordained and destined for you which is beyond your own understanding. And the Bible said in Romans 8.26 for we don't know how to pray. Likewise the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. We don't know how to pray and what we ought to pray but the Spirit makes intercession for us with the deeper groanings which our mouth cannot utter. Are you with me? As you pray in the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost is praying a right prayer through your spirit rising up a shield of faith in you. When the devil sets a trap he, he finds you shielded and you cannot get in trap. And you escape that. When we implore you to have a consistent disciplined life for prayer, we come from this understanding. When we are calling you for another prayer rally, we are coming from this understanding. Another prayer marathon. That you shall build your spirit with the might of God. The your spirit man will become very resilient, unshakable, unstoppable, immovable, and distracted. And you shall become stronger and grow from grace to grace, from glory to glory, from anointing to anointing, from degree of knowledge to another in the name of Jesus, ever changing, ever being transformed in the same image of the likeness of the Son of God. And I prophesy, your end shall be greater than your beginning. I said your end shall be greater than your beginning. And your tomorrow shall be better than your today. Because the Holy Spirit is rising up a net defeat on the inside of you. A structure with stronger uh, materials, spiritual materials that does not rot, that does not break. That is the kind of the manner of materials that make up your spiritual DNA, your spirit man, your, your inner man. Oh my God. Hallelujah. You will become a building built on the rock, which is not built on using the, the, the stones, using bricks. Not with wood. Not with wood. Not with grass and hay. Spiritual materials of stronger spiritual faith, spiritual revelation, spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding, spiritual discernment, spiritual judgment.
In the name of Jesus. Amen. Chitakizre, obe watchmanire, wachete jerize, stani kweriza kutega kakorio, obe watchmanire, omu kweriza kubihe chua, obe wamure, wame te jerize, atakereze no kukamba, o shazemu, enama zeye, nebi ya na plan zona, ezar kuteka teka magaragao. Because he speaks to words, you hear them from far. That this is a lie. In Jesus, you disapprove, you disqualify their wrong motives, you disqualify their evil plans and interests. Am I talking to you? Shout a big hallelujah. Gambare Ruyen Pangu, O Montuyana Steve Kanisakuviha, Ari Kuretet Suba Cheye, O Chimani Rahare, O Techinet Suba, Tigari Mazima, O Chihakanisa, O Yangak Chichirizamu. You are faith built on the rock. Built on a sure firm foundation. Built on the knowledge. Built on the truth of God. Built on the fear and the wisdom of God. You shall finish well. You shall finish stronger. You could have begun very bad. But I stand to announce in the name of Jesus. You shall finish well. You shall finish well in the name of Jesus. I say you shall finish well by the power of his word. Your beginning could have been small. Your end shall be greater. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. You could have made mistakes last year. But this year, 2024, you are amending your way. You are turning your back to the past weaknesses. You are turning your back to the past mistakes. And I decree and I declare upon you. All your wasted years. Shall be restored. Shall be restored. Even the years that were eaten up by the chewing locusts. Even the years eaten up by the crowing locusts and caterpillars. Shall be restored. Stored in the same season. Year 2024. Your wasted years shall be restored. This year 2024. Your prayer life shall be restored. This year 2024. Your relationship with God. Your love for God. Shall be restored. This year 2024. The Lord shall turn your battles to victories. This year 2024. Before it ends. The Lord shall turn every curse of your life into a blessing. This year 2024. Every weakness of your life. Shall be turned into a strong of the strength of your life. Your weaknesses shall turn to strength of your life. God shall give you wisdom to turn weaknesses to strength. Whatever the enemy intended for evil, the Lord shall turn it to work for your good. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And those who pursued you, those who are incest against you, you shall look behind you. There shall be none. There shall be none. For the Lord your God who fights your battles. And I declare and I declare be still. Be still. And you will see the salvation of the Lord. Be still. And you shall see the salvation of the Lord. At that same place. At the same place where the devil meant to bring you down. It is the same place where I see the Lord put a ladder for your upward movement. I see the place where you went down. It shall be the same place 
where you shall climb up. In the name of our Lord Jesus, I see the Lord bless a ladder at the place where you descended down. It shall be the place of ascending up. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And declare the spirit of the Lord. No weapon formed against you that shall prosper. No weapon formed against you that shall prosper. No weapon formed against you that shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. And no sorcery. No divination against the house of Jacob and the house of Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Greater is he who is in you than the devil which is in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now as I conclude I see the Lord turn around situations for some people. I saw people with rugs suddenly being closed with garments of honor with garments of glory. I see a covering. I see an adornment <laughs> with garments of beauty and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord said to me to tell you he will turn your shame into double honor. What the devil designed to bring shame and reproach upon you. This day the spirit of the Lord lifts a standard. Where the devil wanted you to be put to shame. God shall turn your shame into a double honor. For the spirit of the Lord says. He'll turn your mourning into dancing. And shall turn all your tears to laughter. In the name of Jesus. That's say the spirit of the Lord. Your night could have been long. But joy. Joy. Comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. And I hear the Lord exhort you. This is your morning time. This is your morning. A new day has dawned. It's a day of divine grace. It's a day of restoration. It's a day of hope. It's a day of joy. It's a day of divine connection. It's a day of an encounter. It's a day of peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who mocked you will come down to you. Shall bow to you. Those who mocked you they are waiting to see you down. They will find you enthroned to places of honor. I hear the Lord say, tell them the story of Esther. And in the morning, she was enthroned. Her day, her morning came and she became the queen. Vashta because the favor of God came upon her life. This is a God who knows how to lift others from the ash heap and sit them with the king. You could have sat in the dust and in the ashes for a longer time. I speak in the name of Jesus. I speak under the mantle prophetic. I speak by a prophetic spirit. I speak the apostolic decree. Your shame shall be turned to a double honor. In the name of Jesus. And those who mocked you will honor you. They shall find in places of greatness. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your business was down. Before this year ends up, God will give you wisdom. 
And power to double and to multiply. Even I see people emerging up with new businesses because new ideas are coming to them. As I am speaking, I see the rising of God's glory rising over you and I see the Lord spotting the things, the treasures that were hidden in darker places for you. The treasures hidden in darker places. The light is manifesting in him. The light is shining upon them. And the Lord is giving you access to the riches and treasures that were hidden from you. This year, whatever was covered shall be brought to the light of God. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands to Jesus and talk to God in the Holy Ghost. Speak in another language. Speak in another language. Speak in divine language. Speak in heavenly language. Don't mind somebody next to you. Break out. Break camp and go deep in the spirit. I want to hear you breaking out with a liberty in the spirit. With a liberty in the spirit. With a freedom in the spirit. God is a spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The wind of the spirit is blowing. The wind of the Holy Ghost is blowing over you. Breathing over your life. As you are speaking in other tongues, the Lord is downloading treasures to your life. You are downloading mysteries. Mysteries and secrets of the thing that were hidden from you. As you are speaking in other tongues, angels are descending and angels are sending and angels are descending bringing and channeling things that you didn't have two minutes can change your destiny two minutes of the Holy Spirit prayer can change your whole life Two minutes praying in the Holy Ghost could turn around your battles. Now your spirit is touching heaven. You have entered into the realm of the spirit through the Holy Spirit. The spirit of God is connecting with us your spirit with the spirit of God. What man cannot give you, God shall give you. What man can never do for you, the Holy Spirit is doing it now. What people cannot offer you, the Holy Ghost is bringing it in your spirit. Did it, 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 did it,
You are touching higher realms. You are feasting new realms in the spirit. You are sending into higher heights right now. You are going higher and higher. In the realm of the spirit. In the realm of glory. In the realm of faith. You are entering new territories in the spirit. You are acquiring new territories. You are occupying new places in the spirit. You are entering into play higher places. You are touching your healing. You are touching your divine connection. You are unlocking your marriage. You are bringing deliverance on your body. You are securing your connection. You are securing your job. Your proposals are getting through. As the hand of God is coming upon you. Treasures in the spirit. Treasures in the spirit. You are touching treasures. You are touching treasures in God. You are pulling down treasures in your spirit. Mysteries and divine mysteries. Riches in the unsearchable places of God. You are touching the riches of his glory. You are downloading from the riches of his glory. You are creating your future. You are creating your future. You are creating your future. You are entering into your future. You are unlocking your destiny. You are unlocking your miracles. You are opening doors. You are changing circumstances of your life. Circumstances are changing. Situations are bowing. Circumstances are bowing. Powers are bowing. Principalities are bowing. Chains are falling off. Shackles are melting. Doors are opening double. Connections are happening. Favor is happening. Deeper, 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 closer to deeper. Deeper, closer to deeper. What you are touching, man can never give it to you. What you have been desiring, God has it. What you have been desiring to achieve, God has it. What you have been praying for, God has it. What you have been asking for, God has it. In the name of Jesus. As you're praying in tongues, you're raising, raising a wall. You're raising a hedge around your life, around your marriage, around your finances, around your business. 
Are As you are praying in other tongues right now, you are connecting with the Father. Whatever the Father has is yours. You are getting access to heavenly blessings and inheritance. As you are praying in tongues, you are receiving a new anointing. You are touching a new anointing. You are receiving a new mantle. Right now. As your spirit ascends into the highest. Into the realm of the anointing. The anointing is flowing. Into your life. And every yoke of the devil. On your life shall be destroyed. The anointing. Because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Every yoke is being destroyed. Because of the anointing. Resistance in your office is broken. Resistance in your marriage is broken. Resistance in your community is broken. In the name of Jesus. Every resistance is broken. Mabaka ba 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 la ba ba la ba ba kasa kata ba uro ba sekete kopolo uro boste ba kato robo uro uro boste ba kate koro uro uro boste koto kopo ere kese koto you are receiving divine assistance you are receiving help from God you are receiving help the Lord is your present help the Lord is your help in the present in the time of trouble. As you are praying in other tongues, you are receiving help from heaven. Define help, define help, define assistance. Right now, heaven is sending down assistance. Heaven is sending down your help. Heaven is sending destiny helpers. Your destiny helpers. They are coming down for you. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny helpers. Your destiny helpers. The Lord is releasing them. Your destiny helpers are coming your way. In the name of Jesus. New connections. 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 I hear the Lord say, The old is gone. I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. All the things are all passed away. I am doing a new thing for you. In the name of Jesus. You are touching the healing power of God. You are touching the healing anointing. Healing is your inheritance. Healing is your inheritance. You are receiving healing for your diseased body. You are receiving healing for your afflicted body. You are receiving healing for your afflicted soul. You are receiving healing in the spirit. Healing of your marriage. Healing of a relationship that is breaking. Healing in your mental life. Healing in your emotional life. Healing in your physical body. In the name of Jesus, healing of your business, healing of your finances, in the name of Jesus, you are receiving healing, in the name of Jesus, you are receiving wisdom, you are receiving divine wisdom and revelation, knowledge and understanding, you are tapping into the recesses of wisdom, infinite wisdom, as Solomon received wisdom, so you are receiving the wisdom, and Jacob received the wisdom. You are tapping into the wisdom. Wisdom to create businesses. Wisdom to create investments. Wisdom how to save. Wisdom how to grow wealthy. 
In the name of Jesus. You are touching the power of God. You are touching a new dimension. New dimension of spiritual power. 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 You are touching a new power. You are touching higher power. Higher power than you had before. Higher power of the resurrection. Higher power of the Holy Ghost. Higher power of the Almighty. Higher power. Higher power that is irresistible. Higher power that overcomes the enemy. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, the power of God is flowing over you. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is flowing. The grace of God is being multiplied in your life. In the name of Jesus, miracles are happening. Miracles are breaking out. Ikaluda zeda bakoto balada. E kaladise tapaya, e palamonda papalada, e polonde papayledo, paruda saduka, pradusa radese tomanda, rade kotika chains are falling off, shackles are melting, yokes are falling away, chains are breaking, shackles are melting, the rays of fire, there's melting of shackles, you are touching a new dimension of the fire of God. Holy Ghost fire, revive of fire, Holy Spirit fire, consuming fire, devouring fire of God. Fire of prayer, 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 fire of prayer. Fire lit on your heart. Fire lit in your soul. Fire lit in your spirit. Fire shut up in your bones. The word become like a fire in your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Some of you are receiving baptism of the Holy Ghost. 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 With evidence of speaking in other tongues. You are getting filled with the Holy Ghost. What chain you is losing? Whatever chain you is falling off. The God of fire is in this place. The God of fire is in this place. And the fire is burning on the altar. A perpetual fire. A devouring fire. In the name of Jesus. A consuming fire. A devouring fire. A perpetual pentecost of fire. A revival 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 I see the Lord turning into a flame of fire. I see you not only having fire. 
But you becoming a devouring fire. They are things that will never again come near you. Because a wall of fire, a wall of fire is hedged all of, around you. A wall of fire, 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 a pillar of fire. A pillar over you. A pillar over your house. A pillar over your home. A pillar over your children. A pillar over your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't do what the Holy Ghost can do. She's at the altar. She's safe. You can cover her, but don't, don't touch her. Baba Baba Kasa Kato Kodio Rubo Sikato Kodio Rubo, Hodia de Rebo, 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 Pastor Edith, when I looked at you in the spirit, I saw you growing tall, <laughs> so high up <laughs> in the skies. And I saw people that were coming near you. They are all becoming very tall. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, the chains are falling off. That woman. Chains are falling off. Mumreta hensha jeleziyoni zilagara. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. It's okay. Leave her. Leave her. Mumreke. Mumreke kumakwata. Said is here the Lord said, because you have loved my altar. Because you have loved my altar, I shall be your defense. I will vindicate you. On those who surrounded you. I will fight those who fight you and contend them who contend against you. Your enemies shall be my enemies. From this day, I will fight your battles. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We have to end here. Thank you.
everybody receive your miracle, receive your breakthrough. The anointing of God and His power and glory is flowing everywhere. The glory cloud is over your lives. And you will see miracles happening from this day. Things that were difficult for you shall become very easy. Doors are opening double. Every closed door is opening double right now. Every closed door is opening double. I hear the Lord say double doors. Double doors. The Lord shall be your shelter. And he'll be your fortress. And he shall be your stronghold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a glorious clap of praise. If you are here before we bring it to you and offering. If you are here and you're not saved, heaven is calling you. Heaven is beckoning. You. Lift your hand if you're not saved, and I pray for you right away. You came here and you're not saved. Thank you. Come quickly, sister. Anyone else, you're not saved. The presence, the healing, the glory of God is available for you. Jesus loves you. And he loves you so much. He died on the cross for you. Jesus loves you so much. He died on the cross for you. And Jesus loves you so much. He died on the cross for you. And Jesus loves you too. Anyone that you are not saved today, the Lord is beckoning you to come right now. Mercy triumphs over the judgment. No matter how much sin you ever did, the grace of God abounds. Mercy triumphs over every judgment and every condemnation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming at the mercy seat of Jesus. Thank you for coming at the mercy seat of God. Mercy is bleeding for you. Mercy is crying for you. Mercy is crying for you. Mercy is crying for you. In grace has appeared to you. From today, you will know the heart of God. The Lord opens your eyes to understanding the mystery of salvation and the new life which you have in Christ and the triumphant, victorious life that Christ has situated for you when he died at the cross. I see the Lord embrace you in his bosom. I see the Lord embrace you in his bosom. this worker himself in your life. You bring it to a completion. You are loved with everlasting love. And all your sins are forgiven 
and washed the blood of his precious blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord gives you a new garment of holiness and of his glory. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to lead you this prayer. Say after me, you'll be sent. Say, Dear Father, I thank you for today. I have heard your word. And I have believed in my heart. For righteousness. for salvation through my confession and now I confess Jesus yes. from this moment you are my Lord my personal Savior. I denounce Satan and his ways. I denounce the world with all its systems. I embrace salvation. By grace and through faith in our Lord Jesus. Father, Tata, right now I receive total forgiveness. All my sins that I have ever done, even those I forgot. I denounce them. I receive the gift of salvation. And the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the gift of eternal life. And the gift of righteousness. And the gift of the Holy Spirit. Father, I am yours. And from today, you are mine. And I confess I will follow you all the days of my life. Keep me stronger in my new life that I have obtained by the grace of Jesus and through faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Matthias. Uh, talk to these precious ones. We love you, sweetie. Ones. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Masha is going to speak to you a few things. And you are going to come back. Hallelujah to Jesus. I believe the ushers have given you envelope for you, those with the tithers. 